I'm out here on the sixth hole, a tricky par three, lots of danger up there. One of the things that's very interesting in controlling the shape of your shots and the shape of your swing is the shaft plane. You may hear this being spoken about a lot. Let me try to explain to you what is shaft plane and how it can help you to have a more consistent pattern in your shots. Shaft plane is really set by whatever I do in my address position. So each golf club is set square to a certain lie angle. So if I ground the club, that's going to give me my shaft plane. Ideally, what we're looking to do is set that club above this club, which mirrors my shaft plane at address in the backswing, so that the shaft plane will sit in a line sort of where this shaft would come inside the ball. So in the backswing, the shaft plane is working up above this. You can see lots of different players. You know, Jim Furyk sets it very, very much above it. Matt Kuchar, for example, sets it very, very low. So it's not something that you should stick to, but you do want to have the club working in balance. If the club is set on a shaft plane like this, it's very light and easy for me to control, especially during all of those dynamic changes of direction. Now, as I'm working up to the top of the backswing, as I change direction, because the head end is heavier than the grip end, it will tend to shallow as I start down. And what we're trying to get it to do is to shallow so that it matches up to this shaft plane, my address shaft plane, so that as I come down, it's going to come down through my right forearm so that I can keep the shaft coming back very as close as possible to that original starting point. If I can do that, I know that the face will be square at impact. Some common errors, if your swing as you go back is particularly steep, more than likely as you start down, it's going to be particularly shallow. If it's particularly shallow, like more flat than this shaft plane, is a good chance that your path and your arms are going to swing out to the right. So it's going to be very difficult for you to be able to control that starting point of the ball combined with the club face. We're trying to get as consistent as possible, which means we're trying to get into the most neutral plane possible. Up on that line, up to the top, feel that it shallows onto that original shaft plane and through into the ball. If it does get too flat, what's happening is your body is either turning, your right elbow is maybe rotating or too over the top of your right one. And what's going to happen as you come down, it will steepen and that's where you get that slice from. So you can monitor and maintain your swing plane through a few simple keys. And if you can have it more and more neutral, the ball flight will improve and improve. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you one. I like to hit a fade shot. I like to try to take the left side of the golf course out of play. So what I'm going to do is try to focus on how I'm going to set my hands going up, work that through into that low hand position so I can match that back up at impact, keep that club face nice and square. Shaft plane is one of those things that you really need to work on to give yourself a consistent ball flight. It's so worthwhile the investment in time to get those great shots out on the golf course.